Whether you're a fan of the popular TV show Rick and Morty, or just a connoisseur of modern physics theories, you might know a thing or two about the multiverse theory. This theory states that the universe we live in might not be the only one out there. It proposes the idea that there are, in fact, an infinite number of universes, also known as the multiverse. This concept may seem a little insane, but it gets even weirder when you actually start thinking about its implications. If the multiverse theory is correct, then there's a universe out there where everything is exactly like this universe, but you're watching this video in a clown costume drinking a cup of maple syrup. If there's anyone out there doing that right now, please be sure to comment below so that we can prove the multiverse theory is true once and for all. Jokes aside, the multiverse theory isn't just physics quackery. It's a trail of thought that has infatuated scientists and philosophers alike. While some physicists argue that the multiverse is not a legitimate topic of scientific inquiry, let's take a look at a few things others point to as proof that we might be living in a multiverse. Consider space-time. Scientists really can't be sure what the actual shape of space-time is. The shape of the universe depends on its density. If its density is greater than the critical density, the universe will be closed and form a curved shape. If less, it will curve a bit like a saddle. But if the actual density of the universe is equal to the critical density, as scientists think it is, then it will extend forever like a flat piece of paper. If that were the case, which scientists think is likely, then if you travel far enough, you'll eventually reach regions nearly identical to ours. After all, an infinite series of numbers has an infinite number of possibilities, but there are only a finite number of ways that particles in space can be arranged. That means that at some point, there's going to be repetition. Hence, somewhere, by pure chance, if you look far enough down the space-time timeline, there could be a near-parallel Earth where a nearly identical version of you is watching this video in a clown suit, drinking maple syrup. Our observable universe only goes as far as light has traveled in our universe's existence. That equates to roughly 13.7 billion light years. The space-time beyond that boundary would essentially be considered its own universe. Some argue that there has to be something beyond our universe. Apparently, it might be another universe. Moving to the next proof, the principle of inflation suggests that the universe expanded rapidly after the Big Bang, kind of like a giant balloon. When this happened on a massive scale, some pockets of space might have stopped inflating, according to top cosmologists. This would essentially be like bubbles forming in the universe. These other bubble universes would have then moved away from us well, beyond the limits of our observation. Some cosmologists suggest that our own universe exists as one of those bubbles. This could also mean that if there were multiple universes, each would have their own unique laws of physics. So maybe you'd be watching this video in a clown suit drinking maple syrup while floating. The next theory regards quantum mechanics that suggests that there might be other ways that multiple universes can arise. For example, physicist Richard Feynman's approach to quantum field theory introduced the possibility of reality as a weighted sum of alternate histories. For example, this theory proposed that the overall behavior of two electrons as they approach each other, then deflect and scatter, must take into account every possible intermediate path and that these should be weighted according to the likelihood of each path. Another way to think of this is by trying to find out how tired a person will be after a walk in the woods by assuming that they split themselves up and take every possible route. More weight would be assigned to the shortest and therefore the most likely path, but all the paths need to be taken into account. A graduate student, Hugh Everett III, took this further by proposing a reinterpretation of quantum mechanics in which each time that particles interact, reality separates into a set of parallel streams, each representing a different possible outcome. So researchers observing a quantum experiment would similarly split up into multiple selves. Each version of the researcher would be convinced that he or she was the real one and would be unaware of the existence of the others. 
Scientists also debate the role of math in alternate universes. Is math something that we use to describe our universe, or is it really the essence of our universe? If math is just a system we use to understand our universe, then maybe there are other mathematical structures that exist in different universes. Under this theory, maybe there's another universe where 2 plus 2 equals 5. However, if math is a fundamental reality, then every single universe would be defined by it equally. A mathematical structure can be defined completely independent of human experience or even understanding. Whether you understand a mathematical principle or not, it still is. Sort of like differential equations. I have no idea what's going on there, even with my engineering degree, but it still exists. This theory of the universality of math, which many scientists think is accurate, would suggest that there are likely to be universes out there that would be likely to exist regardless of human experience. So we probably, or maybe, or possibly, live in a multiverse. So be sure to think of the parallel you in a clown suit, drinking maple syrup, watching this video, while also probably floating. They're out there, somewhere. And for all those floating, maple syrup drinking, clown suit wearing people out there watching this, you might also be wondering, what is the color of the universe that I'm making this in? I mean, we can look up at the sky and it looks blue, or we can use a telescope and see into the universe and it looks black, but scientists actually recently discovered exactly what color the universe is. And it's not what you'd think. Take a look at this video from Past Me that I'll play right here, explaining what researchers found to be the color of the universe. Thanks, future me. But let me just say, the universe is a pretty mesmerizing place. From all the natural wonders here on Earth to the Tesla Roadster flying through our galaxy, there's certainly not a lack of wonder surrounding us. All of this amazement naturally leads us to one prominent question. What color is it? Uh, okay, well, maybe that's just me, but a group of researchers has solidly confirmed what color the universe is. Are you ready for it? It's beige. Yeah, yeah, it's beige. But not just any beige. The color of the universe is named Cosmic Latte. A team of researchers from Johns Hopkins University gave the universe's color that name in 2002 after running a series of tests collecting massive amounts of light samples. Initially, in 2001, the researchers thought that the universe was a slightly less attractive greenish-white, but in 2002, they issued a correction claiming that the light from 200,000 studied galaxies averaged together comes out to a beigeish white. And if you're wondering what the hex triplet value for this beigeish white is, it's FFF87. Believe it or not, the focus of this groundbreaking research study in the early 2000s was not to determine the next new crayon, 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 this'll be fun in the comments, color of the universe, rather it was to understand the star formation process. The astronomers collected spectral analysis readings from different galaxies to examine when and how stars form. On the star formation front, the researchers were actually successful, finding that the majority of stars formed around 5 billion years ago. As the researchers quickly realized, the collection of all this spectral analysis data gave them the ability to see what color the universe appears from Earth. The beigeish color of the universe is due to how light from distant stars appears from down here on our blue little planet. As these distant galaxies emit light that then travels billions of light years to Earth, the light waves tend towards pure white, due to the light from the star's youthful years closer to their initial formation. Now, why was the name Cosmic Latte chosen? It's all thanks to a vote held by the team of astronomers at Johns Hopkins. Other notable runners-up include Cappuccino Cosmico, Big Bang Blush, Univage, and Cosmic Cream. Surprisingly, Cosmic Latte didn't actually win the vote. It actually came in close to last, but when the voting was over, the researchers decided to throw out the votes and just go with Cosmic Latte. I'm not really sure they understand how voting is supposed to work, but Cosmic Latte is the name we got. The astronomer who came up with the name, Peter Drum, did so while sitting at Starbucks, drinking a latte and reading the Washington Post. That day, the Post had published a photo of the universe and he realized, 
his latte had the same color. It was a breakthrough in the scientific color naming process. So the universe has a rather boring color expressed as FFF8E7 in hexadecimal, and its naming can be attributed to Starbucks and the Washington Post. Next time you're looking up at the night sky, just remember, that isn't darkness you're seeing. It's actually Cosmic Latte.